Do you guys smell something nasty? Hey! Hope you're hungry, gang. I finally perfected my new cabbage casserole. Wow, Daddy. Smells great. Some of your best work, honey. Wait, I forgot the fish sauce. It really brings out the sulfur notes. <laughs> Quick, ditch it before we have to eat the fish sauce. We're your neighbors. I'm Rita Loud, and this is my husband, Lynn. Great to meet you. Bumper and Jancy Yates. And I brought you a little housewarming gift, some of my famous lasagna. Thank you. How nice. Though we really don't do dairy. It makes our kids sluggish, but we could share it with the needy. Oh, won't you come in? Wiener schnitzel. Not to brag, but this tastes exactly like last Wednesday's. Man, I have got this recipe dialed in. What are you doing? Self-hypnosis. Maybe I can make myself believe the wiener schnitzel tastes like ice cream. Oh, I want ice cream! Move! Come up with your own coping mechanism. No, 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 no! Woo! That was close. I almost had to order us pizza. <laughs> so we're not having any dinner? Nonsense! Necessity is the mother of invention. To the kitchen! So, what do we got? I found a jar of olives. This spoon still has a little mustard on it. And I've got some chopped up sports bars. And I've got some jams. Ooh, where? Oh, those kind of jams. Olives, pepper, baking pan, other half of baking pan, tape, stat man, stat. What are you making, Dad? I'm not really sure, but let's just call it Casa Loud Casserole. Ooh, I have the perfect outfit for that. Honey, that was delicious. Yummy. 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 So good. Thank you. I think you kids were right. It's time I started mixing up the menu. Really? Yep. In fact, I'm going to the store right now to get some new ingredients. So much for my chicken stock. How's the turkey coming, Dad? Ha! Ah, turkeys are for amateurs, Lori Lou. I'm making a turgoosin, a pigeon stuffed inside a goose stuffed inside a turkey. Three times the bird, three times the deliciousness. Oh! Ah, triple homicide! Ooh, mashed potatoes. Yeah. Nice try, sister. But as officers of the Feast Force, it's our job to protect this food till tomorrow. I was just... We said scram! Where were you two when Lynn took my chicken stock? <laughs> Morning, fam. Kitchen's open for breakfast. Put in your orders. I'm on a salad. I want French toast. And I'll have a breakfast. Breakfast burrito with extra cheese. Hold the taters. Same as always. Same as always? <laughs> you eating that or just looking at it? Because I could use more protein. Today's the big day, just gotta chill the duck liver pate. I'll show them that I'm a star with my yummy take on caviar. I love that confidence, honey. When is the investor getting here? In a few hours. Just think, if he likes my food, I can open my own restaurant. Here, try this foie gras foam. Uh, and here's the second course. Uh, this is just air in a jar. Lemon air in a jar. High-end, yet low-cal. Honey, no offense, but why are you making all this showy stuff? What's wrong with your famous Linzania? Honey, this is Timothy McColl. This guy travels all over the world tasting exciting and exotic food. I, I, I can't just serve him a, a hunk of noodles. Well, I like the hunk who made those noodles, and I think anything he cooks is delicious. Can you say that again when he's here? Dad, wait! What if you serve him your leftovers? Yeah, that's a great idea. You can take the stuffed pepper I've been saving. And, uh, I can part with your meatloaf. And I'll give you the soup. Mine strone is now your strone. Oh, it's a nice thought, guys, but Tim won't want any of that. He's used to eating the most amazing food in the world. But your leftovers are the most amazing food in the world. Truth, Bob Star. Look what we did to keep them to ourselves. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Well, Lynn, I'm going to give it to you straight. This is one of the best meals I've ever eaten. I knew it was a dumb idea. I should have never served it. I, um, wait, what? 
I've been all over the world, and every chef serves me the same thing. Caviar, pate, uni. It's boring and uninspired. Do you know at the last place I ate, the chef served me air in a jar? <laughs> <laughs> what a bozo. But your food is classic, comforting, and delicious. And when you travel as much as I do, there's nothing better than food that tastes like home. Ooh, I want to be in the Lin Loud business. Wow, th thank you, Tim. I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't do hugs. You got Tim. We do hugs.